Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I have the slides finished for the Tier 1 Positive Behavior Systems for 2023-24. It's for the first 13 days of September. Um, these are not lockstep orders, so please understand that. Once upon a time, we did that, and two years ago, a teacher said, hey, is there a chance we can just kind of sprinkle these things in on top of bringing in some of the cool stuff from our content versus, you know, kind of going two weeks or a week and a half just on um, school expectations and classroom expectations. And that seemed pretty cool. So think of it as a three braided rope. You know, you're working on relationships with your students, doing connecting activities, icebreakers. Those are totally up to you. And that way the kids don't have to feel the redundancy of us all kind of doing the same things. And then also, as you bring in some of the cool stuff from your content, um, that always makes everybody feel good. You start finding out a little bit, assessing what the kids know. Um, so that's really great practice. And then, of course, you know, your classroom expectations and school wide expectations. So just going to kind of whip through a few of these slides. There's a bunch of them and you'll see. I just want basically to see how I've organized them so that you can be efficient with them. All right. Here we go. Let's see. So here's the objectives over the next 13 days. I'm not going to read that to you. You all can read that to yourself. But what I'm really looking for is 100 percent follow through. Um, I would really <laughs> would really love to be able to pay everybody extra to do that. I know there's a lot of things pulling in at our time, a lot of uh, competing interests, but let's do a great job. Let's really do a great job and let's see if we can't uh, get everything completed by September 22nd. Um, and that way our kids are, you know, running like a fine tuned uh, school. Next thing are some of the tights. These are more academic tights as administrators, uh, your, your instructional coaches, we do expect to see daily learning targets, okay? And some of you are using essential questions. Those are great. Those are more of the umbrella, the overarching pieces, but we do expect to see learning targets. We do expect to see success criteria. And some of you are already moving over into bringing, even bringing in performance tasks and listing these, listing these on your whiteboard, um, on assignments, but for the visual learners, they can't just hear it. They also have to have a place to re-anchor their brain by seeing it. Um, again, you can read this slide. And then tights by our teachers for our students. We want to make sure we're practicing our capturing kids' hearts, our Excel practices. Um, and we are all in, only giving two e-hall passes per day per student. Now, that is just if they need to take care of their basic needs, restrooms, water, things like that. If they have a uh, already in a, uh, an appointment set up with a counselor, we don't want to mark them down on that. Um, and there's a way through e-hall pass to take care of that. 10-10 rule, we're gonna be really tight on that. If we see kids out in the hallways, uh, in the first 10, last 10, we will walk them back to your classroom and um, let's make sure we're on that and make sure you put that in your sub plans too. We wanna start the year right. Okay, that's just a cover of our student handbook. Um, I want you to make sure during your first week or so that you're showing kids how to get to the website. Kids need to understand how to use that. If you have students who are not real strong with the English language yet in terms of reading, show them where they can translate it. I believe it's in the top right-hand corner. Uh, you have the bells for the first three days of school. That's what those look like. I would just maybe study those the night before if you start doing all three. At least for me, my brain starts washing out and I start making too many errors. Um, yeah, then you've got the regular bell schedule, uh, which would be our Monday late start and then the Tuesday through Friday as if we don't have anything else going on like the pep assembly or something like that. So that would be a Monday late start on the right on the left, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on the right. Here's some details that go with the daily schedule. Uh, classroom social contract, want to make sure you do those in the first two, first two to three weeks, not the first week. You know, there's an installation menu for that and a schedule. The menu's tight, you need to get it all in, meaning all classes need to have social contracts. Please don't do them all on one day. Don't, please don't approach it like it's a box check. Even if you get to know your kids, you're gonna learn a lot by just having them go through the process. Um, the schedule is loose in terms of how you do, you know, the school-wide expectations, your own classroom expectations, syllabi and all those things but I wanna really stick to the menu of when we do the social contracts. Administrators are gonna be out, they're gonna be checking, helping, supporting. Um, so make sure you let us know if you need anything too. There is the social contract installation calendar. You can see we're not even gonna start until Tuesday the 12th. You're gonna start with zero and seventh and then home Troy. If you don't get to it that day, then wait till the following Tuesday, okay? Either you're gonna do it on the 12th or the 19th. 
you're looking at third and sixth period, it's either going to be on the 13th or the 20th, and then you can work your way down the week and you can see how that goes. All right, 13 days of ins installation of expectations calendar. Um, you're going to see that the menu is just a menu. Um, this is the menu right here. Those are the slide numbers. Those are all the slides that come after this. Once upon a time, we were very lockstep, okay? And it kind of looked like this, but this is even loosened up too. I don't even know if I would worry about this other than maybe looking at some of the links. Um, I would probably go back to this and use this as my checklist and making sure I'm hitting those with all my kids. It doesn't hurt students to see it, to see it three or four times during you know, the, 20, the 13 days we're doing this. All right, so that's the first week, that's the second week, that's the third week, and then all the following slides come after that. And there's tons of them. You could probably spend, I know I could, I could probably spend five to 10 minutes talking about each one, um, but please get well versed for those. If you do have questions, always feel free to email me or stop me in the hallways when you see me going by. But I wanna thank you for all your help ahead of time. Let's have the, the best start we've ever had to any school year at Auburn High School. And I am counting on you guys to do a good job and definitely reach out as needed. Thank you so much.